The Recreator 3D Community Bottle Cutter. All parts and info can be found at the Google Drive. Start by printing all the parts for the Recreator 3D Community Bottle Cutter. You'll need two USA pennies or a washer the size of 19.15 millimeters in diameter by 1.50 millimeters thick. There's also a second variant that uses USA dimes or a washer 17 millimeters in diameter by 1.50 millimeters thick. You'll need four M3 by 30 screws, four M3 nuts, two M3 by eight screws, two M3 profile nuts, two M5 by 34 bolts for holding down the bearings, two M5 nuts, one lead screw, one lead screw nut, one lead screw motor coupler for the safety top, four M3 by 12 screws for the lead screw nut, one palm wheel which holds the two bearings that get planed down for the use of the bottle cutter, printed parts for the bottle weight, and some sort of filler for the weight. We used cement and show some $1 rocks. Start by planing down the bearings. We used an angle grinder and some others have used a sander planer. Using the M5 nuts, set them in place inside the middle printed part. Further set them inside with a screwdriver. Take the top printed part and two pennies or washers and snap and place the pennies to the bottom of this part. Combine the top and middle printed parts, set the plane bearings in place, the bottom bearings plane side should face upwards, and the top bearings plane side should face downwards. Place the M5 bolts into the bearings and downwards into the M5 nuts. Tighten them in place. Insert the four M3 by 30 screws into the top of the combined top and middle pieces. Connect them to the bottom printed parts and add the M3 nuts and lock the screws in place. Connect the lead screw nut to the middle part with the four M3 by 12 screws for the lead screw nut. Make sure all screws are fully tightened into place. Double check your bearings are flush sunk with each other. Moving the top one should move the bottom. They should be tight enough to do this, but not tight enough to lock in place for movement. If using the Recreator 3D build, install the two M3 by eight screws and profile nuts. You can also use the cutter on a table with some clamps. Attach and snap in place the jot holder to the base of the bottle cutter. Attach the lead screw coupler to the end of the lead screws. This helps as a safety cap while working with the unit. Attach the lead screw to the lead screw nut on the middle of the printed part. The bottom of the bottle weight can be filled with cement or some rocks. The top gets screwed onto the bottom and you can attach the jot holder for tension to the weight. The weight is put onto the bottle and adds weight and tension while cutting the bottle. As mentioned previously, you can mount the cutter to a table with some clamps and use the cutter by hand. To load the cutter, start with cutting a starter strip to load into the bearings and attach to the weight. Pull the strip forward until the bottle is fully stripped. It's suggested to use a safety glove for this process, but it's not needed. You can wrap the strip around your index finger while holding it with your middle finger. This adds tension for an easier pulling experience. Next is an example of the community bottle cutter attached to the Recreator cutting by hand. Thanks for taking your time to build the Recreator community bottle cutter. If you've got any questions, concerns, or comments, please reach out to the community group at Facebook. Happy recreating!